Hi students, here is another problem from dissolution of partnership form. You can see A, B and C are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. And a balance sheet is given here and they are going to dissolve the partnership business. In this balance sheet, liability side you can see first item bank overdraft. And another one item is their B's wife's loan account. And in the asset side, you can see the loss, profit and loss account. That means loss in the profit and loss account balance. So in this question, we are going to see that how to treat bank overdraft, partners, wives or relatives loan, then loss given in the balance sheet and one more thing you can see C's capital account on the asset side if a partner has a debit balance in his capital account how to treat these are the special adjustments in this question and you can see assets realized given here stock rupees 32,000 fixed assets 45,000 and full amount recovered from debtors then A agreed to take over furniture rupees 1600 and also agrees to pay bills payable. B agreed to discharge his wife's loan. B agreed that he will pay off his wife's loan. There was an unrecorded asset rupees 10,000 which was taken over by C at rupees 7,000. Then a bills receivable for rupees 5,000 was received from the customer. See, this is another important adjustment. A bill receivable was there, 5,000 received from a customer. And we discounted that bill with a bank. 5,000 bill receivable was received from a customer and we deposited or discounted with the bank. And now he, is, he became insolvent and able to pay only 60 paise per rupees. That means we will get only 3000 rupees from him but we have to pay to the bank 5000 because we already discounted that bill with the bank for 5000 since the customer cannot give we have to pay to the bank 5000 rupees so we will study here how to treat that adjustment then again creditors were paid at a discount of 1500 creditors we had 330000 and we settled, we settled that account after deducting 1500 rupees. That means 28,500 rupees we have to pay to the bank, to the creditors. So let us start with the solution. Here, realization account is ready. On the debit side, we know that all the assets will be transferred in its book value. You can see in the balance sheet, there is debtors, debtors 40,000, then stock, stock we have 50,000, then next furniture of rupees 2,000, then we had computer, computer rupees 8,000, then fixed assets, Fixed assets rupees 41,000. Then prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses we have 1000 rupees. So these are the assets in the balance sheet. And we have liabilities. Creditors we had 30,000 rupees. Then bank overdraft. See bank overdraft. If it is there in the question, it should not be taken to the bank account. It should be considered as a current liability and should be transferred to the realization account along with the other outside liabilities. And on the debit side, while paying off the liabilities, this also to be returned as to bank. So that is the treatment of bank overdraft. It need not be taken to the bank account. It should be treated as a current liability and settled by drawing realization account. So it will be transferred to the credit side. So by bank overdraft, 4000 rupees. Then 
another liability bills payable bills payable 6000 then b's wife's loan b's wife's loan we have 10000 rupees that is also transferred now these assets all assets are transferred and we have to write the entry for realization of assets realized values of assets are given so we can write by bank stock realized for rupees 32000 then fixed assets realized for rupees 45000 then debtors full amount received 40000 then bills received bills discounted so this is the special item bills discounted was there from mohan to get mohan is payable paying only 6 60 paise per rupee that means for 5000 rupees he is able to pay only 3000 rupees so bills bills receivable realized or bills discounted realized 3000 so total amount received is 120000 okay now again it says that a agreed to take over furniture for rupees 1600 furniture a takes over 4600 furniture we had for the value of 2000 rupees but a is giving only 1600 so this 1600 will be debited to his capital account as that money is will after deducting this much money the remaining only will be paid to him and there was an unrecorded asset and for rupees 10000 that is taken over by c so we can write c's capital for understanding purpose in bracket if you want you can write unrecorded asset he agrees to pay 7000 for that okay now let us write the general, the entry for settling bills payable a told that he will take over the furniture and agrees to pay bills payable so we can write bills payable for a bills payable we had 6000 he is paying at in the same value then b agreed it to pay off his wife's loan so we can write to b's capital 10000 see b's wife's loan will be treated like any other liability so it should be transferred to the realization account here it is transferred and should be settled if b was not ready to pay we had to write here to cash since b pays it will be trans it will be transferred to his capital account okay so that is the case b is wife or any relatives partners relatives are there and if any loan is there received from them it should be treated like any other outside liability only partners loan will be taken to a separate account in partners loan account okay now let us settle the other liabilities we know that creditors and bank overdraft are remaining bank overdraft is a current liability we transferred here and paid it off then creditors creditors paid at a discount of 1500 so 28500 we can write the total 32500 here so all the entries in realization account is over so let us see that which side is having more amount you can see that debit side is having more amount we can total that amount and we can transfer to the credit side 195500 so we will get a balance of 16900 you know that what is what it is yes it is loss on realization of assets loss on realization of assets and liabilities will be transferred to partners capital and they will share in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1 that is their profit sharing ratio now let us prepare capital accounts capital accounts of partners capital accounts of partners is ready here so if you see in the balance sheet you can see there are two partners capital in the credits in the liability side of the balance sheet 
So that balances we can write here by balance brought down only for two partners A seventy thousand, B seventy thousand, and for C it is there in the asset side of the balance sheet. So that that indicates that amount he has to pay to the business. So to balance brought down for C eight thousand rupees. Okay. Now let us see. We can transfer all the bank entries from realization account to, or all the capital entries from realization account. So first, yes, capital for bills payable. That means in yes, capital we will write by realization. By realization for understanding purpose, if you want, you can write bills payable six thousand rupees, and next. B agreed to pay off his wife's loan, so in B's capital we will write by realization ten thousand rupees. Okay. Now let us see in the debit side. We know that in balance sheet there was profit and loss account. This is loss, so loss will be shared among the partners in the capital account. We can. So here, to profit and loss account, it will be shared among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So let us write here sixteen thousand, sixteen thousand and eight thousand. Then in realization account credit side, you can see furniture taken over by partner. Furniture taken over by whom? By A. So we can write in A's capital. Thousand six hundred. The next, an unrecorded asset was there that was taken over by C. So in C's capital account, seven thousand. Okay. Then realization loss was there that can be transferred here to realization loss. We have shown here the division in the realization account credit side. This loss will be transferred to the debit side of partnered capital. Okay. Now the entries in the capital account are over. Let us see the balance. We can balance the account. You can see for A and B credit side showing more amount. So we can total credit side for A. It is seventy six thousand. That can be taken to the debit side. Seventy-six thousand for B also credit side eighty thousand. It will be transferred to the debit side. So now we will find out their balance of capital accounts. So we have got here fifty-one thousand six hundred and forty, fifty-seven thousand two hundred and forty. But it means this is the amount to be paid to A and B. So we can write here bank account. You can write even cash also, but you can see in the balance sheet liability side there was bank overdraft. What it means? Bank overdraft means withdrawn more amount than what is there in the bank. That is called bank overdraft. So we can assume that there was a bank account. That is why we have taken here bank. Now let us total C's capital. His debit side is showing more amount. We can total that and transfer to credit side, and can write the balance here: twenty-six thousand three hundred and eighty. But it means C has to bring money to the firm. Okay. So this is the way of preparing capital accounts for the partners. So capital account and realization account. Are over. Now we are going to prepare the bank account of the firm. Bank account. See bank accounts. There is no opening balance. Bank overdraft we have adjusted, so no opening balance. We can write the entries one by one. We can start with the realization account. In realization account, you can see first 
bills discounted bills discounted was there so uh, that we have to write bills discounted uh, it was it was to be paid to the firm okay firm had to uh, firm receive the money so firm has to pay to the uh, bank so we have written here in realization account bills payable see bank overdraft is written then bills discounted 5000 is there that can be shown here in the bank account by realization 5000 now let us see next item we have paid for creditors and bank overdraft together that we can write here realization 32500 okay then in the debit side assets are realized that realized for 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees can be written here to realization 1 lakh 20 thousand then in cash capital account if you see you can see in the credit side of C's capital C has to bring cash 26,380 that C brought in so that amount we are writing here to C's capital 26,380 then let us see in the credit side we have the amount to be paid to A and B to so you can write by A's capital and B's capital their capital account balances 51,640 and 57,240 now we can total the bank account all the other entries are over so 1,46,380 here also 1,46,380 okay now the balance bank account is completed so this is the way of solving question in related to dissolution of partnership form i hope all of you understood this you can find this, this type of questions from reference book and solve it and if there is any doubt you can communicate that to me thank you